Zeb has cut out these cute little bunnies. Good job. The bunny is done. Well, now we have to make it look good. We wanted to do one little floppy ear down, one ear up, and we wanted it flat so that way it can sit up easily in your decor. You could put a little edge on here if you wanted to. So what are you doing today, Zeb? I am plotting the path for the router on the CNC machine for this little bunny here. That way we can cut it out and make it come to life. Are making bunnies your favorite? Yes. <laughs> you can buy these on our website for $9.95 or you can get just the plans for $1.95 and that way you can cut out your own bunny at home for decor or if you want to resell them or whatever. You could use a bandsaw, if you've got a jigsaw that would work or even a scroll saw could cut these out. For sure, it's a really, really simple design. So we're gonna go ahead and paint these with DIY White Swan. We've cut them out of half inch MDF and we're just gonna get a good coat on here. So when you're painting something like this, it's much easier to paint the edges first because then you can hold it down. Once you've got a good coat all along the edges, then I like to come with a bigger flat brush because it covers more surface, like the Dusty, and just make sure I've got one coat coverage. Because this is MDF, it absorbs really well, so one coat is all we're gonna need. Once this dries, we'll seal it with two coats of Sweet Pickens top coat, and we will be ready to add our transfer. If you didn't want to use an IOD transfer, you could use one of our JRV stencils. The florals would be really pretty, or you could decoupage some napkins on it. That would also be a great option. Once I get the paint on there, I like to just smooth out the edges, make sure we don't have any runs. And I'll make sure I haven't missed anything, and we're pretty good. Oh, did I get paint on my cheek? A little bit, yeah. A little bit of white swan. It's like blush. The white swan is all dry on these little bunnies. I'm just gonna spray them with a quick coat of Sweet Pickens top coat. And then once that's dry, we'll be able to put the transfers on really easy. So the next step, Zeb and I are going to be using different transfers. I have the Flora Paranthesis, and I have just leftovers from our project when we did our binder. And he's gonna use the leftovers from the wildflower. We already used two of the flowers on some furniture in Arizona, but I always save every part and find a good way to use them. So I've saved the backing on this because you don't want it to stick to itself. And I kind of have to decide like what's gonna be on my bunny. So I think I'm just gonna have the rose part coming across my bunny. Or I could do these flowers, I don't know. We're thinking rose. So I'm gonna cut off this portion of the rose. And you can see that I still have more transfer that I'm sure I'll find another way to use. And then I'm going to figure out how to place it on my bunny. Once you're down, you commit. So now I've got the transfer on my bunny here. We have lost the applicator tools that come with the transfer, but it's okay. I've got a squeegee here from putting up wallpaper and we have a brownie spatula. So we're gonna make it do. I'm just gonna push along this transfer and make sure it's adhered pretty well and go really well around the edges. It kind of cuts the transfer off, so to speak, without having to actually cut it and then I'm just gonna pull it up and make sure it's attaching. And then anywhere where it's over the edge, I'll just fold it over. I'm not as adventurous. I can't figure out where I want these flowers to go. I don't know if I wanna use this big sunflower here. I like these flowers. Yeah, I was debating on the red ones. I think I'll just run them all the way up. And you can layer stuff on there too, Sam. So like I've got this other portion of the flower here, this little bud and I could come put this in here to add more. All right, you guys see we've got like this little extra bit here. Just gonna, I'll just run that sharp edge. You could use a, what's it called? A sanding sponge too. Sealing these really helps them stick a little better kind of eliminates all of the dust from the DIY paint since it's clay based. It tends to be really porous compared to some other paints. So sealing it real quick with a light coat of top coat will help your transfer stick to that a lot better. Got yeah, the scissors. Leave this part here because you can add it on other places of your bunny. Okay. I have used this transfer, this portion that's over here that got cut off. I moved it over here 
This portion I added, it was cut off from over here, and I'm just adding leaves from the exact same flower, just kind of moving it up. I'm filling up the space, and then once we're all done, I'm gonna come back with an IOD stamp, either the crackle or the chippy, and give it some texture before we're finished. So I'm just taking a lint-free rag, and I'm burnishing. Really, I'm just pushing this transfer, making sure there's no air bubbles, rubbing in circles. You really wanna make sure it's adhered well before we move on to the next step. If you wanted to stop here, you could go ahead and just put a coat of sealer over this and you could be done. We're gonna be using the Crackalure stamp in the white swan, which is the same color that's underneath. That will make the transfer look a little crackled. I'm rolling my brayer in the DIY white swan, making sure it's nice and evenly coated, but you don't want it to be drippy. And then I'm gonna roll that onto the crackle stamp. Kind of all over, not perfect, and you don't wanna cover the whole thing. Once you've got to that step, you're gonna to have to move fairly quickly because it does dry. Set it down on your piece without shifting, and then you're gonna tickle the stamp. That way it's just kind of random. Pull it off. Now my transfer looks crackled and aged. All right, Zeb, you think you can, you can get the crackled effect as good as me? Um, I'm, I'm pretty good at doing the crack lure. I like it quite a bit. <laughs> it's one of my favorite stamps. You're like a stamping pro. I'm good at this technique because it doesn't require perfection. I don't know about pro. I kind of just wing most of everything I do. And <laughs> if it works out, it does. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of paint on that corner. That's all right. We're not using it again. So just tickling it so it's not all over. You don't want to all over crackle. I mean, I guess you could, but. With the bunny being the shape that it is, you're not going to get like a square of crackle. That's why you kind of put the paint on uneven so you're not getting like a full square pattern. Oh, you pretty much crackled the whole shebang. Yeah, mine looks amazing. <laughs> One more quick coat of sealer and these will be all finished. So we did this technique on these fun little bunny cutouts. We wanted to show you how versatile the IOD products are together and show you what we do with our leftovers. You could also use leftovers on furniture and the crack lure stamp can be used on, without even using transfers at all. A great way to use crack lure is to have a base coat of something and then paint over the top of it, distress it, and then use the base color with the crackle stamp. Never ever throw out any leftovers of your IOD transfers because they can always be used for more furniture or crafting. For the products we use today, go to jamierayvintage.com. We have the Parenthesis transfer, part of the wildflower transfer, white swan, the brayer, and the crackalure stamp, and paint pixie brushes. Everything has been sealed with top coat so that way it's durable and the transfer will last. You can also find these fun bunny cutouts on the website as well as the plans if you just want the template to cut your own out. So, you know, of course, naturally, I think my bunny's better, but Jamie thinks hers is better. Gonna need some help. Comment below. Do you like the pink bunny? Or the red bunny? If you like this video, be sure to share it with your friends. Don't forget to hit that notifications bell so you never miss a video. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Hit the subscribe button.